What's up, NetHeads? Welcome back to another episode of the Neds Declassified podcast. Um, welcoming in Season 2. As always, I'm Jacob. This is Kirk. Um, yeah, this season is starting off freaking strong, if I do say so myself. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, we were saying, and uh, I think we agree on this. I think we both pretty much said the same thing. This lev- this episode made us laugh more than the le- than pretty much I'm gonna say any episode of season one. Yeah, for sure. I was definitely like, most. Of I them. was laughing pretty hard, like during during a couple of the parts. Like there's some really funny yeah. parts. I also saw. Yeah. I looked it up on the IMDb page, and I don't know if this was. I haven't been paying attention to who's been writing the episodes, but this was written by the show creator. Um, which is pretty cool. Who's that? Uh, Scott Fellows, I think his name is. Yeah, Scott oh, Fellows. Okay. Um, Interesting. But yeah, it was a good one. So it was new semester uh, is the first part, and then electives is the second part. Um, well, yeah, and zooming out once again a little bit, um, it's a longer season. 20 episodes in season two. 13 episodes in season one. Yeah, they got... That's an extra... They got greenlit seven for, them, for more eps. Yeah. Which is nice. Hopefully they put them to good use. I think I think this is... I think this is where the show te- te- catches its stride. Right? I think so. Um, I mean... It's a, new, it's a new semester. Yeah. I feel like I have fond memories from, like, every single season, um, which is a good a good note for the show you can you know shows how good of a of a show it was really when it didn't have that that many low points um no doubt but i think the more memorable crazy stuff happens after the first season i think that that's safe to say that's fair yeah um but, but yeah the, like the, said, the, it's a new it, it, right it's a new semester there's yeah. new looks new new classes new intro new students he says new intro right that was something yeah right off the bat it's all yeah. yeah I, guess, I assume it's all edited from with stuff from season two. Not all of it, though, because there were some old stuff uh, still right. looped in there from season one. Uh, one of the things that I can remember is um, Ned and Moe's in the James Bond car um, is still there. That's right. Also, I think every time the character's like name comes up, I think it's the same shot from the original intro thing. Was it? Was Cookies the same? Was it... Uh, because yeah, his was the so. video game one. Was it that before? I think that I think that all the character ones are different. Actually, it's the video game one. It's he's playing. It zooms in on him like classic. I guess it looks like a shot that's happened a million times in the show. So it's hard no, to no, no. Cookies one in it. Well, maybe this isn't when it shows his name. Then I'm thinking of it. I think it shows. I'm. I remember watching it. It shows his name over the one where it's like he's he's hitting it. He's ha- he's got his finger on the white thing on the glasses and all the numbers. Okay, I think I'm thinking. I think the shot is towards the end of the intro. Then when he's like in some sort of video game universe and he like shoots a laser and someone dies behind him and he like looks he looks behind him. That might be, I guess that's yeah. towards the end of the uh, the intro. But the voiceover yeah, is new. completely new. It's the same words, uh-huh. but they re-recorded it with a, a an older Ned. Yeah, his voice is marginally deeper. Yeah, yeah. He's also grown a lot in this, like, holiday yeah. break. Because he's, like, as tall as Moe's now. <laughs> is he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when they were standing next so- to each other, uh, he Whoa. was only, like, probably, like, an inch or so shorter than her. And before he was like a good like six inches, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was so much. Shorter <laughs> he was a than small her. man, you know. Yeah. Um, are you drinking anything interesting? Not anything interesting. No, I fin. I uh, oh, okay. when we were watching, I finished the rest of um, a white wine that we opened last night. Uh, I think it's a Chardonnay. Um, and oh, okay, and, you're whining. Yeah, and now uh, since we don't have any more wine. Um, I'm drinking one of the Bon and Viv spiked seltzers. The the flavor is pear elderflower. It's pretty good, oh. you know. It's got it's some some nice little uh, That's a little floral notes. Yeah, I got this. I got the fruit oak aged saison ale brewed with blackberry lime and sea salt from Jolly Pumpkin. I like it. Very nice. Nothing else to say about that. All right. Back to the episode. Ned says that it's a good idea um, to have a new semester to-do list. Yes. With the goals that you have, it's like it's like a New Year's resolution. Very basically. similar. Except they're these people are knocking them off like straight away, ASAP. 
Well, Ned. Well, Ned was because he's not. He doesn't have. I think he has ADD or well, something. Well, so, so he doesn't. Some have. of the other people, like uh, the huge crew, did theirs straight away. Oh yeah. Um, they, Moses that, tried that, to do is, hers. The huge crews was just to. Yeah, because when they Ned. when they kiss Ned, they're like, "Yeah, we can cross it off now." They say something like that. They listen. They they must listen to the tips. I think they do. I think the tips. I think they hone in on them. I think that Ned may have some sort of like. Um, like pirate radio um, going on at the school where he gives his tips off. Does he publish like a little like a little booklet that you can get like a tip almanac? Like a like a communist leaflet that he drops from the sky. I was thinking more like a young Benjamin Franklin. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that. You know. You know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I mean that was that was a forceful kiss they put on him. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Uh, everybody has new. Everybody has slightly new looks this season. Like you said, Ned looks considerably older, a little bit less like a child. His clothes are the same though. He still goes for the classic button down with the long sleeve underneath. You know, you can't go wrong. Yeah, they can't change that now. That I think that continues to be his look till the end of the show. Uh, as far as I know, yes. <laughs> Very classic early two thousands hip. You know kid trying to be cool yeah hip like, hip average kid uh average kid <laughs> on the block you know right <laughs> Moe's has bangs this season she does have bangs yeah um, at least at least this episode i don't know if she gets rid of, rid of him again but uh, cookie is in full form as p cookie um so he's like uh, copying the the p diddy missy elliott look like we were talking about before but it is a new track suit it is different it's like gold and yeah, it's blue and gold, his... right? It's like a it's like a royal blue and, has, and gold. It also has a C on it, I believe. Yeah, on the back it says P Cookie, like embroidered into it, which is nice. P Cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has he, clearly he has the biggest transformation out of everybody. Well, uh, yeah, that that's true. Until later on when we see somebody else's, but um, uh, also Susie dyed her hair. She's got the classic uh, darker hair that she has, I think, in this season and next season. I don't think she ever goes back to the light brown look. I think you're right on that. That seems like because she look. I think the light brown hair for some reason makes her look younger. Yeah, I, I feel you on that one. I I, I think that too. Um, also, Billy is still in um, like preppy uh, nerd mode. Um, well, yeah, is what we saw him last Late, season. And he's continued it because he's been dating Susie. Yeah, they're an item right now. They are. They lasted over the holiday break, which is longer than any of the other relationships that Susie's had. Um, it's crazy. Call back to, to the freaking dance episode with Seth Powers. It's because um, Billy has allowed himself to be completely just subservient to her to her demands. Yeah, he's a, he's a broken man. He's he's very broken. Well, we find out. We find out she's a very controlling woman. She is. In, <laughs> Which you could see before in, when she was with Seth. General? You could you could see it when she was trying to get him to do the things that she wanted and stuff. Um, and if he didn't, just straight up breaking up. Um, yeah. But yeah, so on Ned's list of things that he wants to get done, um, the first thing I think is like get better at science. And then the second thing <laughs> is, uh, what is it like? Read some. It's just like reading. It's reading something, right? It's read all the assignments that you're given, or something. Right. Like yeah. Yeah. I yeah. And then the third one is to kiss Susie Crabgrass. Hell yeah. Which is like his goal of the uh, of the episode, because we That's also see that goal. he hasn't. Uh, we find out that he hasn't kissed anybody. Like not an official kiss. Um, not a sensual. Because we do get some lore background here. You want to spit that lore background that we get? Well, yeah, it's it's a little. Uh, apparently, Ned is like he's talking. So he says, Moses, like you've never kissed a girl, and then as like there's that one time, and it's implied that it's with Mose, and it was at his fifth birthday party. Yep. Moses' mom made Mose kiss Ned. Yeah, apparently. Which is weird. Yeah. Why would why would why would the parent make them do that? <laughs> <laughs> give him a kiss give him a little kiss tell him you're thankful <laughs> that's not how you say that that's not how you express thank maybe her maybe her mom is like french or something that's true you know you never know la- what kind of what what kind of last name is mosley uh i don't know i don't know what 
the kind of last name. You think name that's that a real last name? You think anybody on on planet Earth has that last name? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it gotta be. It's not it's not weird enough to where it wouldn't be. Um but we find out also <laughs> that Moses' list just consists of her becoming friends and spending more time with Susie. That's the only thing on it? I believe so. I think that's the only thing that she says. I mean, she's already a good student, so like she doesn't really need to do any yeah, yeah. different school stuff. Maybe be less of a teacher's pet. Improve her woodworking skills. Impossible. Which will happen, no doubt. She's already a Oh, freaking, you can always get better. She's already a fine craftsman. Who do you... Sure. Th- have you seen Parks and Rec? No. Oh, damn. I was going to ask you who you think is a better woods worker, uh, Moe's or uh, Ron in the show. Who do you guys think out there is a better uh, woodsman, a better uh, woodworker? Who do you think is? <laughs> Between Ron and Moe's. I would say probably Ron yeah. still. Moe's is pretty good, though. I know that the, I know that um, the guy that plays Ron, whatever his name is, I think he does that in real life. Oh really? I want to say. I, I believe say, that yeah. he's got he's got that vibe going on. Yeah. Um. But yeah, what what part comes up? Just just like just like Brad Leone, I think he does woodworking too. Hashtag Bon Appetit controversy. I don't know if you. <laughs> I have been following that a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it... But anyway, Cook Cook is a G again. We find out Billy is actually the one that dyed Susie's hair. Yes. Yeah. Because he did. he's become whipped, and he liked it. He's become puss whipped. Maybe he'll become like a hairdresser in the future. A full on hairdresser, not a barber. A hairdresser. Yeah, dude. They're different licenses, you know. What? But uh, barber and hairdresser? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like a hairdresser has to do a lot more. Well, they do different things. The bar, you know, the barber sometimes has the, uh, Does, you know, sometimes they'll shave people with that with the straight razor. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Is a barber getting licensed for that type of stuff, and a hairdresser is not? I feel like that's part of it, even though that can't be requested that often. Because the the bar, uh, when you go to a barber, they'll whip out a straight razor like it's no one's business. Yeah. They're like, oh, you want this? You want a clean shave? And I'm and I, you know, I'll be like, no, I'm good. But they'll have it out. They have like, it in hand. They're like, come on, nobody nobody wants this. They're like, you're looking ratty, and I want you to get a little bit cut. And I'm like, no, please, my skin is sensitive. You're going to look like fucking Val Kilmer in Tombstone. Yeah, I don't want to be freaking shaved. <laughs> the um, Lisa Zima has not changed yet. She looks the same. She's exactly the, first the time same. we see her this episode. Which I thought she's, that she was going to yeah. change to... Um, well, she... Like what we see later, well, uh, not yeah. even later on this episode, but I thought she was going to change to her eventual look. I don't know when that comes, though, so I don't want to spoil it too much. You know, the reason you thought that is because that is the thumbnail of the episode. No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying uh, not what happens in this episode. I mean, like the uh, what she like later becomes when she's like a normal person or whatever. She's like, oh, yeah, she she blossoms a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's I right. thought that happened in season two, but. Maybe it still does. I'm not a hundo. You know, I don't know when that happens. Yeah, I have no freaking idea what happens. I have the least memory of that. Of that <laughs> the timeline of is not uh, as solid as like it was for me with Drake and Josh. I don't know when. I don't know when <laughs> stuff happens. That's true. No, yeah, no idea. They sprinkle in these little, these little overarching character development moments within the plot. Yeah, but you have to be able to have the eye to pick them up because sometimes. You know, it's not a, something that carries through, you know? <laughs> it's subtle. Yeah, it is very I'm subtle. I'm going to say it. <laughs> it's the only subtle thing about this show. <laughs> exactly. Um, so Ned and Moe's eventually form a, a sort of pact or plan to be able to try to um, weasel their way in between Billy and Susie. Um, Everybody wants to get fucking access to Susie. Yeah. And she's... She's, I'm going to say, overrated as a, just a person. What I don't understand is why would Moe's even think that Susie dating Ned would be less time spent than Susie dating Billy? Like, why would the time spent with boyfriend change? Because part of her reason for wanting to break them up is that it will open her time window up to hang out as girls. Is that? Yeah, I know, but like... 
even if they break up, right. the Ned's plan is to get with Susie. So if he's exactly. with Susie, then how is that opening up more time for Moe's? Well, I think some part of Moe's is like, maybe we can hang out like as a three thing as friends and maybe we can get like kind of freaky. The third. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. I was thinking more of like a third <laughs> wheel action. <laughs> third wheel action. But you could turn that. You can, if you twist those knobs the right way, you can, you can turn that. You could turn into it into anything fruitful. you want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so, but yeah, that's a good point. I don't know what she's thinking there as far as the calculus that's going on. It doesn't make sense about, about her, it doesn't make sense about I, her alliance with Ned. I mean, the only I mean, thing gonna be... can be is that third wheel thing because it does happen when like, like, uh, when you were dating, um, Kellen, like when we were in college and high school, I would hang out with you guys uh, a good amount of time. And like, it probably would have been different if like, well, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have been. I don't know, man. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if it was what, just just you and me hanging out? No, it doesn't make any sense. I was trying to make it make sense for the <laughs> show. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Because like, if she's friends with we, with Susie, we if she school? if she's friends with Susie anyway, then like the amount of time spent, it doesn't change. I don't. <laughs> I was trying to make my mind do like gymnastics over the situation. It does none of it makes sense, especially. <laughs> Especially with how controlling of a like partner Crabgrass seems to be. She's going to take you. She's going to take your time. She's going to make you hang out with her. It's true. All the time. Do stuff for her. Do things to her. things. Yeah. If you're lucky. <laughs> That's if you're lucky. <laughs> um, but yeah, so next the week. Other, the other alliance that happens is Cookie co ops Billy's crew because yeah, obviously he does. Billy is no longer hanging out with them. He's no longer hard. He doesn't have leather. Yeah, we get to see Cookie's dope like entrance music, his track that they lay down uh, when he enters the cafeteria and like he has like the crew behind him. They are now dressed in like track suits and stuff. And then he's also got they the went, chicks behind him. Yeah. They full on became his hype men. Yeah. The the bald guy has a a a yellow visor that is sometimes yep. backwards, and then the uh, curly haired guy. I don't remember either of the names. I never. Did. He's the yeah. I don't know the curly haired sewing guy. He's got a sweet blue fedora, like a baby blue fedora. It's like but also blue. his tracksuit is short sleeve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucked. Um, Wait, like a tank top sleeve or like just like a bicep cut? regular yeah yeah yeah, like a normal like t-shirt cut that's where that's where it's cut at interesting um yeah the song is great though there it's just like pea cookie pea cookie and he's (laughs) they're just like dancing along to it it's just fucking dope yeah that was one of the laugh out loud moments yeah for sure sure (laughs) yeah they he has an entourage now he does it's like Uh, and he's also like he's like a gangster bully. Yeah, he is using his power uh, to be able to like kick people out of certain scenarios. Yeah, he takes a table. He's like, "Hey, this is our table now," and all the kids scram. Yeah. Um. He sits down. That's when Zima comes over. She's like, "You've changed." <laughs> You're yeah, not... she's upset. <laughs> I think he just kind of he's like, "Whatever, whatever, Birch, get out of here." <laughs> sort of a thing. Ned, um, back in science class. He's got the same teacher. He does. They do continue to have that same teacher. It I is only th- I, it is it is only the next semester. It's not the next year. So I guess that makes sense. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it wouldn't change. But um, no, no, no. Hold on. Classes would would they or would they not? I don't even remember anymore. No, elect, me up. Uh, electives <laughs> would change sometimes, but like uh, all the normal the core classes, classes were would year be two long. semesters, right? Yeah, yeah, so they science, were year long. Okay. Yeah. So science absolutely would be would be a year long two semester class. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be a semester class. Not like college. No. They jam everything in one semester. Yeah, college they jam you hard, you know. Yeah. So like <laughs> you got a bigger brain now. You can handle this shit. It's false. Um But yeah, he learns um he, uh, the task for the semester I think it's to memorize the periodic table of the elements. That is, I guess, their their big thing, you know, which you can do it, man. you know. You can do it. It's not impossible. It would, do you it'd think be annoying. Be easy? 
for you personally, would it be easier to memorize that or all the presidents? Probably all the presidents, right? Yeah, all the presidents, yeah. There's also yeah. less. There's less presidents than there was... Uh, How many periodic tables? Period. Is there like over 100? There's a lot of elements, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of elements. But I don't even understand what... It was. So what is he trying to get them to memorize? Does he just want them to memorize the name with their like... Um, the little uh, letters that coincide? Or is he trying to get them to memorize also the order in which they, they go in the table? Dude, you got to know the number of elements. You got to know the, the the fucking abbreviation. <laughs> what is that called? It has, an, it has a different name than abbreviation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember what the fuck it's called. I feel like we sound stupid. <laughs> um, the <laughs> it's the it's the shorthand. But you also you got to know the atomic <laughs> yeah, but it's mass. called it's called something else, isn't it? <laughs> the element symbol. The symbol. It's the symbol. Is that what it is? That's what. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Because some of them are different. Like A A U is gold or whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe. What is, that's isn't the case. isn't salt weird too? It's like N something. It's like N L or some shit. It's not just salt. I mean, salt. No sodium. Salt. Sodium's what I'm thinking of. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to I me. I'm fucking NA. stupid. All I right. I think it's N A. And then I know. I know. Potassium is K, right? K. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We know shit. We know stuff. There, there are 118. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't taken chemistry since 10th grade. So that was like fucking, what, nine years ago, eight years ago? <laughs> yeah, I, I took to remember these things. Been, I think it would have been 2013 when I, when I would have taken it last or something like that. You took it senior year? I was taking it at the community college. Oh, you're taking an SPC? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I didn't take it in I didn't take it in college. Um But, but yeah, yeah, the the next the next part we have is Billy in his duffel bag, right? When he's trying oh, to hold hide on, from real Susie. Quick, one thing I did write down was Lisa Zemo is talking to Cook. She says, You're a bully in fly clothes. <laughs> that is That's a good way to describe said. him. But yeah. The huge crew, uh, he also wrote down the huge crew is now 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, you think they look a whole lot different than the last time? They've always looked old. N- yeah, no, to be fair, they actually don't look much older than they did last season. Yeah, they're one of the people that, that kisses him. Also, the health teacher kisses him in the beginning. Or not health teacher, she's the no, nurse. No, she's the just nurse. the nurse. Yeah, um, soccer. And also the weasel kisses him. She hun sucks his face. She does, which I would believe to be inappropriate. No. Yeah, the weasel. The weasel has a burrow into Ned's locker, and then she. I. I well, assume the, it's a the, girl the, now. the weasel has an elaborate tunnel system, my dude. That weasel's able in to get of, anywhere in the school easy. She can get in any locker, anywhere, anytime. That's that's remarkable. Yeah, it's fucking badass. But yeah, I, this is where Billy and Ned enter. They, I think they like retreat into Gordy's office. They're looking for man advice because he is their father figure. Yes, clearly he's the only father figure they have. <laughs> well, I mean, I like don't... to be fair, he, to be fair, he might be Billy Loomer's father figure completely. I don't know if he has a dad. Maybe that's why he takes out the aggression. Like, that's something that I'm speculating on. I feel, I feel like, like Ned... I could see the resemblance between Billy and uh, Gordy. Gordy, you think Billy Thoughts? could someday become a middle school janitor for sure? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, like physically, I think that he might be his dad. I could see their the the similarities in their face. <laughs> you think they look alike? <laughs> They've got different hair, though. We were talking about this. The Billy hair doesn't matter. Hair. The hair has nothing to do with it. I'm talking about their their bone structure. I would have to like look at them right next to each other again. I feel like like I don't a know side by side. That. I wonder I if it's been Gord- hypothesized. I think that before. Gordy, Gordy looks more like a like a Guido Italian man. You know, he definitely that, is. Yeah, I think Billy Loomer looks more like a Germanic sort of a person. You think so? He's got pretty. Uh, he's got like an like olive skin. No, it's the hair. I don't know. Well, the hair seems like he's been dyeing it. I think he dyes it blonde because that was like a popular <laughs> thing back then. He gets frosted tips. Yeah, dude, he's also. We know he's into um, hairstyling. I guess you're right. Yeah, I don't know, but Gordy shows um, them. 
he he breaks out the dolls. He's got yeah, like yeah, a yeah. male doll and a female doll. And I guess he's what? He's showing them how to be dominant in a relationship? I well, guess? he shows them the differences between uh, being oh, yeah, subservient yeah, yeah. and being dominant. Right. And he uh, eventually does not really give them advice. He They flip a coin and it doesn't come down. Um, and that's yeah, the last we see of that the, scene. I assume it sticks into the into the into the cardboard tile like I was I was how. thinking the 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 weasel caught it could be but I mean you know people you use <laughs> fr- some people I don't know if I ever did this they would throw the pencil up into the ceiling and it would stick oh into yeah, the yeah, yeah. Fucking- no I, I never did that uh, because I didn't want to waste <laughs> a good pencil I liked having a lot of pencils on me yeah um, but you could tell like hundreds of people did it before you because of the amount of fucking damage that that these tiles oh saw. yeah i mean i remember people throwing all sorts of shit into the ceiling like the anything that was like <laughs> sticky or remotely pointy people would just launch it into the ceiling and then that's just that that is what it is it just was it existed there <laughs> well they do that like the teacher turns around and writes some stuff on the board and they're like hey check this out Whoosh! and they and they whip it up <laughs> basically man remember do you remember in uh sorry i'm thinking of ceilings now in classes do you remember in spanish um three uh they had those like those audio things that were on the ceiling and you bring yeah, them down and then right, you put the headphones right. on that was a how weird fucking that technology cost, man? that technology how much, was bizarre <laughs> how much did that installation cost do you think to the fucking taxpayer of pinellas county i have no idea for you guys out there who don't know what we're talking about it's basically like uh, like a, a, what do you would you even call it? Like a, a CD they player with into, a with they, big no, ass they headphones. Was, they, was, they would recess into the ceiling, and then when you needed them, you could pull them down like an oxygen mask in an, in an airplane, <laughs> and and the headphones yeah. drop down. Is there a screen involved, or it's all audio? I don't remember that. It was, it was all audio, audio, as far as I remember. But I think that. No, I don't think it ever did use video. I remember we watched videos so either, in the class, don't but I don't so think either. we were using the headphones. That wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> no, because it was it was it was challenging your listening ability, your ability to listen to spoken Spanish, and and like, that was de- decode it like some sort of a some sort of a code talker. It's we were a eventually... foreign language, dude. We were decoding it, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we were. That we was were shit. Was so beyond... hard. <laughs> We were beyond the point of being able to learn a language fluently, a language besides uh, English. Yeah, I for sure. We were, I'm our brains were too developed. Maybe I'm making no, ex- I agree. maybe I'm make, maybe I'm making excuses for our failures. No, I agree. But, unless unless you have that like uh, that part of your brain just always unlocked. There are people out there that learn languages all the time. Uh, you need to learn that shit when you're young, in my opinion, like very young. It's um, definitely ideal. I couldn't learn it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I remember very basic stuff. But the next thing that happens pretty much in this episode, um, I think Cookie like comes around a corner or something, and then she see, and then he sees Lisa Zemo beating up a kid. She's holding this kid up like Darth Vader. Yeah, she's got like a ground. dope, like uh, like greaser ish type look. Oh, she's leathered up, BDSM amount of leather. Yeah. That, yeah, it's kind of it's weird because when you think of uh, greasers, you usually think of dudes. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of a strange. It's, <laughs> it's kind of a cool like BDSM mix, isn't it? <laughs> She's really dressed a lot like um, Marlon Brando in the Wild One with the hat. Did he wear? But did he wear a leather cap? He had a leather cap, I believe, but he didn't have studs and shit. In what movie? <laughs> The I think it's called the Wild One. That's like the big. That's the big motorcycle Wild movie one. that made him like a cool guy. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pulled it up. Yeah, yeah. That is that hat leather. It looks lighter than the rest of it. it. Looks like it might be suede or something. You think it's not a leather hat? Did the leather hat come about in like the seventies when like? That well, I mean, I can't really tell because the, the photos are community? black and white. The photo, mm. the photos are all black and white, and it's not. It's very light looking. It's like a light gray. It doesn't look like the rest of his leather. Yeah, I'm not knows. an authority on this. It says freaking Johnny on on like embroidered on his uh, jacket. That's dope. I have to assume that's the character's name. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen this movie, but you know, I got at some point. I, oh I, yeah, I'm I haven't. At what you, I I see what you're saying. Yeah, it looks like a canvas like or fabric. Yeah, hat, and uh, I haven't seen enough um, Marlon Brando movies really, especially not when he was younger. I've really only seen yeah, like, old ones. Like um, the Godfather movies, and then like freaking. This is um, the stuff that put him on the map. Shit. 
This is the stuff that is the reason that he's in those movies. I know. I still got to see On the Waterfront. That's the one that I really want to see. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Um, How have we not seen it? Yeah, she, that she, she, I don't know. It's crazy. She has assumed this look that we're describing here. She's like, you know, she's like the. She's like in the village people or something. It's like a costume. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, she pulls yeah. it off. I think she's got some. She's got some no. It's eyeliner. dope. No, it's definitely dope. And she's like, um, she convinces trying to Cook. Show, yeah, she's not trying to, to show Cookie off. Yeah. She's like, I can change my look radically and just fucking assume a fake personality that isn't who I am and be a fake ass bitch too. Like you, Cookie. That's what you're yeah, doing you- right now. You cook, because we do find out when he's walking away, he really seemingly only did it because he likes the look. He's like, I do like the clothes, though. You know. Why doesn't he just wear the clothes, then? I don't know why he has to put a personality with the clothes, honestly. I have no idea. <laughs> but that's that's the way it goes when it's like a cartoony-esque show, you know? When they wear certain clothes, their personality changes. I guess that's fair. I mean, that's why people, that you know... It it does change the way that you act a little bit, change the way you feel about yourself to some extent. Some some more than others, I guess. I yeah, I don't think too uh, as an not, extreme not, as this, but obviously no, it is a show. No, not not so. anywhere near as extreme. <laughs> as this. You know, you wear a tuxedo, you're like, I'm feel a little bit more like James Bond. Just I'm more in the James Bond direction than I was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. And this is where, like you said, he, he's like, he learns his flawed waves or whatever. He's like, oh, no. And then the bullies, his little entourage, they're left astray. They're like floating in the ocean right now. They're like, who's going to tell us what to do or what to say? Yeah, they're, they're the most follower people that have ever existed. <laughs> they can't think for themselves at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, and the, not... the the last the last part we have of this episode right is where um, is with uh, Jennifer talking to um, Susie and then Susie ends up kissing Ned because she found out uh, from from Mose that it was like the thing on his list or whatever she thought it was nice well, and that does Billy's happen but back also... to Billy's back yeah, to but... bully well before that Susie has the whole thing where she's like I want a man to take control sometimes which is a fucking goddamn lie and she knows it it is a lie. It, we see that it's a lie in the same scene. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Billy starts fighting back. He's like, I'm not going to be your little motherfucking bitch or whatever all the time. That's what he said. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yes, you are. And then they break up. And then, like you said, I guess she takes pity on Ned, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Like, um, It's very strange. I can't imagine... That Billy would be cool with it. I just cannot imagine that from his personality. No, no, he's, <laughs> he's over her by then, and he's already like, "I'm a bully now, so everything's fair game." Yeah, but if he's a bully now, they're still dating. So if he's a bully and Are he they? saw that, he would beat the living shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, there's definitely still dating. I wonder if they're gonna be still dating next episode. I think so. I think it carries. I think it still carries. From what I remember, I think it still carries. They're just in a fucking crazy toxic relationship. <laughs> I mean, their relationship's always been toxic. I don't think Susie knows how to do a relationship that not that's not toxic. That's fair. We to be <laughs> which fair, is we, kind we, of we bad did... to show. I think that's bad to show in a kids show. <laughs> we did not see their their date. I wanted to. I wa- I wish that we got some footage of them at the mall doing whatever they were doing. That would have been good. Maybe like uh, we, it would have been nice to have some sort of like flash sequence of like what happened over holiday break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly right. That could have been sick. But at we would have got some show, some location shoots. That would have been dope. Exactly. At this point in the show, really anything that doesn't happen at school or on school grounds doesn't happen. You don't see it. <laughs> yes. You are not shown it. I do um, remember there's an episode. I believe it's the last season though. Where they're like trying to scope out the high school and they go off grounds. So I know that mm. happens. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, I know. I'm looking um, forward to that big. I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a party episode too. I'm looking forward to I feel any like, of yeah. this. <laughs> house party. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So what are, what are you writing this bi- episode, my well, dude? Oh, is there well, still more notes? He's become a bully again. Clearly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he says, I've reorganized my beating list or whatever. 
And he's like, Ned, you're up on first on the beating list. And this is where I was like, how hard is he beating these guys? Because they're terrified. They're chasing. It's like a, it's like a Jerry, Tom and Jerry cartoon, you know? It is, yeah. It's very cartoony. They're running back and forth, um, similar to it's, like uh, Scooby Doo, actually, when they're like <laughs> they're running through the doors and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Is it, like, is he bloodying them up? I can't imagine that he is. I think it's <laughs> like it's got to be like them just like wrestling around because if he was really beating the shit out of them, I don't think they would ever even talk to him or they'd be too afraid. They would just avoid him. That's what you'd think. But they are a little bit psychotic. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can get into the rating now. Yeah, what are you thinking on it? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say eight point seven five. I think it was strong. Eight point seven five. Dang, that is strong. That is yeah. strong AF, my dude. Um, I respect that though. I would, I'm gonna give it a clean eight. A clean eight out of mm-hmm. ten. Um, it was very funny. Um, laughed out loud multiple times. The plot was was good. Um, I liked all. I liked the, all the A and B plot was very strong. Um, yeah. yeah, it was just it was good overall. It's just very good. It was, and then we um, are straight into the part two. Like always, that's not nothing changed there. Electives. Yes. Electives, electives. Is the next topic. Electives with a twist, I will say. Because this episode, the whole time they're at school this day, is them uh, being able to take every single elective and figuring out what they're going to take for the semester, which is interesting. Yeah. Definitely not a reality in my life ever. No. That scenario? I, it, it, it never happened with me either uh, in middle school or high school. Um, if it happened to you guys, let us know. I would love to know what how that works. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe you guys um, went to JKPMS. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a California thing. We, they are in California. Cali. Yeah, living it up in Cali. Um, but yeah, I had never heard of it before this. Yeah, each each you know main character has their um, you know elective that they kind of want to go into. Yeah, they have Obviously, their heart set um, yeah. on the one they want damn hard throughout the episode. Obviously, Moe's wants to go into Woodshop. You know, that's where her skill set lies. That's where her talent yep. lies. Her love. Mm-hmm. Chop saw. Um, um, Ned, Ned wants, actually he to, wants to be a chef. I thought Cookie said that. No, Cookie wants to go to life science still because he's carrying around oh, the Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ned wants to down, uh, do the cooking cook, class. Life science. And I think I got thrown off. Cook, cooking class, life science class. Yeah. You're right. Ned, Ned initially suggests cooking and then Cookie wants life science. Yeah. Ned this wants is... cooking because he thinks it's going to be an easy A, which is fair. I feel like in life, it would cooking would usually probably be an easy A. At least it would be a good time. I mean, to me, that would be the no-brainer. I would go with that class if that was offered. Yeah, at least but you're who a great I am cook. Today. That's why you like cooking. Yeah. Um. But also, like this episode tries then, to debunk oh. um, easy A's, and yeah, for sure. I, I'm not for that. I think that easy A's are definitely a thing. <laughs> well, you well you think that your life experience has shown? Oh no, there are easy A's that exist. That's yeah, a thing. for sure. Cause, cause she, we'll get into it later. But um, the teacher of the cooking class is the lunch lady, the psychic lunch lady. Yes, yeah, yes, th- she is. I think the actress's name is Yvonne something. Um, and she tries to tell the class the lesson that, like you said, there is no easy A's. You got to yeah, put your mind news. to it. You got to put the time into it. I mean, something. I kind of understand where she's coming from. She's like. You're. It's gonna be easier when you're just good at whatever the subject is already. Yeah, which is fair. But that's if it's. But that's but that's the class. definition of. An, I mean, I don't know. It's like when it's an easy A, you pick those strategically, though. I don't it know. Maybe she on is the right. Teacher. Yeah, I don't know. Some teachers do not give a fuck, and they just like when I when I was choosing electives, I chose a lot of like um, history and like um, government ones because it was. 
I mean, there were subjects that I liked, but also I thought they were going to be easy. Um, yeah, but well, I guess well the pro- thing I guess, is, I guess that probably wouldn't roll with everyone else. I know for our experience, you took the Vietnam War class, which I had the teacher for that. That was the real teacher for that. And then you got screwed out of that teacher, and you got like a substitute teacher that like took the class too seriously. Yeah, he did take it pretty seriously, <laughs> but that's fine. Whatever. I I still did well in the class just because it was, it yeah, was just history. It was just Vietnam War. But I guess the ones that are really easy are the are like the art classes, which I also took a lot of those. Uh, <laughs> really took every elective other than uh, gym. I avoided it like the plague. Mm. That's fair. you know. Right. Fuck that. Would I'm, I'm not trying to get sweaty. <laughs> You're not trying to get swole. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is when Cookie's explaining the whole life science thing. That's where we find out that he, like he's, I think you might have mentioned this earlier, but he he kidnapped basically the baby, Ned Ned and his baby, the child. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he over kept summer he vacation. kept the baby over holiday. Yeah, which was. Interesting. I feel like you wouldn't be able to do that. Wouldn't you have to turn it in to complete the the class? I think that you would have to turn it in or you would get like billed for it or at the very least you would get questioned about it. And it seems like Yeah, they're like where is it? But I turned it in. Uh Mr. Wright seemingly does not know. Mr. Um Is it not Mr. Mr. Wright? Is it Mr. Wright the other guy? Mr. Wright Mr. Wright is a history 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 teacher. teacher. What's this guy's name? Mr. Oh, fuck. Frick. <laughs> what the hell is his name? I'm uh, flipping through notes like uh, mad. I don't have any other Ned I notes in here. I don't know. Down somewhere. Uh, I'm looking off and I'm just blanking on it. Come on, dude. You know all the stuff. You're the guy that has the lore. Mr. All I have is Kipo <laughs> notes. Oh, my God. Uh, Speaking of Kipo, shout out, show me something. You guys should go watch that episode. New season out now. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Monroe. It's Mr. Mon- ah, it's fucking Monroe. Mr. Monroe. Yes. Mr. Monroe, of course. The only two teachers that uh, exist, basically. Uh, well, yeah, along it's with Sweeney. Song. It's Sweeney, him, and Roe. The and computer lab guy. The computer lab guy. Oh, yeah, Mr. The gym, Quest. The gym, the gym, Chop Saw's in it more than Quest. Yeah, he is. So Durga, is Durga's in it not very much, but she does exist. And yeah, the Spanish did. teacher, she was in one app. Or no, two apps, because she was in the tour as well. The hot Spanish teacher? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the first class they go to visit is the woodshop class with uh, Mr. Woodshop. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wood, so- Mr. Chopsaw. <laughs> Chopsaw. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we find out that it's not... Yeah. <laughs> we find out that it's not an easy A. No, but it's a fun um, scene. The bullies are like passing the baby around because everybody's in, everybody's in the class. The bullies are in the class. Cookie's in the class. Ned's in the class. Moses in the class. Yeah, that um, that's how it goes throughout this whole thing. Every time, yeah. all the characters we've ever known and loved have all are all doing the same classes at the same time. Not only um, do you get to try every elective, you get to fucking try it on your terms with your friends. Yeah, with your friends. That shit would be classic. That would have been a good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Everybody's um, using saws like crazy. Everybody's just yeah. chopping shit, buzzing. They saw the baby in half. Yeah, yeah, the skinhead kid does it. <laughs> He's like, check this out. This is crazy. He does it yeah. all with his <laughs> eyes. He doesn't say anything because he never talks. He never talks. Still waiting on that. Um, and then the next one is art class, right? Where they paint well, the hold baby on. like a juggalo. <laughs> in wood class, a couple more little antics happen that I want to mention. Oh, right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Cookie is like working on some shit next to Elisa Zemo. He switches her little nose moistener thing, whatever that, whatever you call that, and yeah, she yeah, ends yeah. up huffing wood glue into her nose. Yeah, yeah, and it and it's really fucked up. Like that shit is already solidified in her sinuses. She can't. It's gotta get it be out. toxic. It's not. Oh yeah, toxic. She's tripping the rest of the day. I don't think there's non-toxic wood glue. Um, and then uh, Ned, I think it's Ned, right? That unleashes yeah, the um, the sander onto yeah, it's a belt um, sander. Chop saw goes up his back like a skunk stripe. It destroys him. 
I'm surprised um, they didn't do some sort of crazy effect where it's like his spine is exposed. <laughs> and it's would wooden. that have been too hard? Would that have been it's too just hardcore? A, it would have been good if his spine was made out of wood. I feel like that would have. Uh, <laughs> well, Laura says guy. he's made entirely out of wood. That is what That's, that is what Lore says. That is the rumor. That is the legend. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, so the the baby juggalo's next. Uh that, yeah, he's, art he's all painted next. up. Um and yeah, they also still the baby paint, again. What, they also well, paint I don't I don't know what they say. Him and Ned and Moe's have a little exchange via painting. I don't I didn't catch it. Yeah, I didn't catch it either, but um Frick. Cookie thinks he's caressing the baby. He looks into the little satchel. It's just a head of lettuce. Yeah, it is. The bully swapped the baby with, I guess, a vegetable baby. How'd they and, swap uh, that? How'd they pull that off? That was the greatest trick the devil ever pulled. Fuck it. <laughs> it's like when it's like watching one of those like uh like magic movies, like Now You See Me or, or fucking the prestige or, or some shit yeah or the, or david any david blaine special where he just goes into the hood and or any any lines with magic any chris angel special any sleight of hand magic <laughs> <laughs> they pulled a little they pulled a they pulled a hat trick on him and they they got the baby taped up to an easel and they painted it up like a juggalo yeah <laughs> exactly like a juggalo but juggalos are not mentioned they don't make any gags at them they should have had the baby sipping Fago. <laughs> that would have been great, but I will say that if anyone, so funny. <laughs> yeah, if anyone in this show is gonna be a juggalo, it's obviously gonna be the bullies. Oh yeah, for sure. They, They've got fucking they're, wallet they're, chains. They're they're adjacent to the culture already. They knew <laughs> it. That's how they knew how to do the face paint. They're cast outs. They're 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 <laughs> you know, they're they're the, the people that you would see at the uh, whatever the the gather the gathering of the, the juggalos gathering. or whatever it's yeah, called. The gathering. Exactly. Um, but yeah, the next class is choir. That's right. Everybody's in the choir. Everybody. They were tossing the baby back and forth like over the head of Cook. That part was making me laugh so hard. It was so funny yeah. watching yeah, them toss the baby around. They're on the bleachers or whatever, so they're on the highest level where the baritone low section is, and they're just. And the teacher couldn't care less about that. He's yeah, in his no, own he's just, world. Well, he's just trying to conduct, you know, I, he thinks that somehow them on their first day know exactly what he's doing with his arms. They don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. And uh, Coconut Head comes out as the star of the show. He hits a note. He holds on it. It's a grown man's voice for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's very, um, he's like an opera singer in that moment. Um, yeah. Everybody goes quiet, but nobody uh, applauds or anything, and he runs away crying. Yeah, and then the teacher applauds. He's like, that was great, and nobody else says anything, so I mean... It's that teacher very... with the comb over, by the way. Yup, yup. I don't remember his name. <laughs> no, I don't know either, no, but his no, comb no. over's wicked. It's his beard combed over to make hair. He might as well be called Mr. Comb Over. It might be, honestly, with this show. Honestly, that might be his name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Um, uh, yeah. In the next scene, we find out that Coconut Head does not want to take the class due to teasing, which is sad. Yeah. He's like, "I'm being teased and stuff, man." And then the bullies do come over and they and they're going and they're singing. They're like going, Aah! you know. Yeah, because is... this is at the time in your life when if you're good at something, that's lame. <laughs> yeah. Why would you, you be can't like be good at shit? Why would you not be subpar, loser? Which is fucked up. I don't understand. I like I, now in it, with an adult mind. I I don't understand that at all. Like if you're good at something, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> I think that some people were never that way, and some people were that way. Maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, back to extreme yeah. life science. Right. We haven't mentioned that. That has been an ongoing thing throughout the episode. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Monroe is hosting True. a new life science class that is now extreme. He doesn't know what it is until the end. It's marketing. It is. It's it's it's, it's hell. To bump up the numbers, because for a while he was stuck with only girls in the class, which is not representative yeah, he, of the population. No, he wants to diversify. He wants he wants it to be you know, like life. He's not opposed to 
you know, a feminine world, but it's just not the world that we live in in 2005 or whatever. <laughs> in the woke times of 2005. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we also find out through a flashback, I think during the cafeteria scene, that uh, the reason that uh, Cook and Ned originally got a B in uh, life science instead of an A, because it should have been an easy A, is because they strapped the baby to a rocket and launched yeah. him off. Even though there was a time last season when the baby was completely separated into different parts. Did that have nothing to do with them getting a B? Do you remember that? They, the bullies might, yeah, yeah. ripped him apart. That was a whole episode. I don't know if they were able to like hide that. Um, they ended up getting found out, right? Wasn't they that did part get found. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 95 percent sure they got found out. Which, to be fair, I mean, what they got found out of, that wasn't their fault. Yeah, but they, the teacher's not going to know that. The teacher's just going to shake their head and be like, "Classic ne'er do wells," you know. You're like, I've been being bullied. I've been getting the fucking, I'm getting my dick kicking in the dirt every morning. Yeah. And, and this and, guy's and he's like, my bullying baby. doesn't exist yet. It's 2005, homie. <laughs> bullying is peak. <laughs> that is peak bully. <laughs> but that is also peak. Teachers do not give a fuck about bullying. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um, yeah, they launched yeah, the baby. So, this is also the moment when we find out that lunch lady is teaching cooking. Um, they see her reading like a cooking or, uh, uh, what is it? Teaching electives for dummies book as hmm. she's like slamming people with baked beans. Yeah. She's just fucking giving them 10 pounds of baked beans, beans mixed with something else. It's baked beans mixed with corn or something. What is it mixed with? Mixed with it corn, wasn't straight mixed baked with beans, corn and pork. And it, was, it was kind of gross looking, whatever it was. She only serves gross looking food. Except for the tenders and the fries. Yeah, which the is true to life. And the Zaw. The Zaw was clean. It was okay. There you go. It's exactly like real life. The only edible <laughs> things are the, are the chicken tenders. That's true. And the fries and the Zaw. Uh, nuggies. They're not, they're not yeah, tendies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were nugs. They were nugs. They were never <laughs> tendies. <laughs> but yeah. Um, cooking class. I think Ned bakes a cake. No, there's a there's a little dream sequence. That there's a dream with. sequence. Yeah, the dream yeah. sequence where uh, they're wearing like dope like chefs outfits. Yeah, they got the toque they, hats. Everything's working perfectly. They bake it. It comes out and it's it comes out of the oven already iced, and it says like A plus on it or whatever. Um, but that is yeah, not the teacher takes reality the at all. Not reality. Nope. In reality, there's some sort of I don't know if Ned got his hands on like chemicals or some shit. Some sort of explosion <laughs> happens. A cake explosion. Yes. Um, it's a it's a fucking war zone in there. Uh, and this is where yeah. we get the um, the lunch lady being like, listen, this shit is not easy, all right? If you like it, you'll be fine. But, like, you're not going to just pass my class. You're going to get fucked up. There's the no meantime. such thing as an easy A. That's what she says. That's what apparently. she said. Um... <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, and they're so like, the, "Damn, the, that's horseshit." Yeah, the the tips basically end up being like, "Take what you like, or take what you're good at, or take it or leave if it. Not just take it if you if you like the teacher, if you know, yeah, if you mm-hmm. think it's a good teacher." Which I did all of those things at different and, times um, in my school yeah, career. True. The sign up for electives, it's as if you're signing up to audition for a school play or to be on the basketball team. It's just fucking on the wall. Yep. Which I feel like is not <laughs> realistic, but no, that's just this shit's experience. gotta be digitized by then, even in 2005. Or at least you have to go and like talk to the advisor or some shit. I don't know. Talk to the counselor. You can't just, they don't just leave the Ain't sheet up schedule. on the wall. Yeah. You, that'd be chaos. That'd be chaos. Well, yeah, it would be. That's how it was done um, probably in like 1984. Sure. In fucking 70, 73. <laughs> 1900. <laughs> There's electives. Um, but yeah, so Ned and Cook end up taking uh, Life Science Extreme and yeah. uh, Bose continues to take um, mm-hmm. Woodshop. Um, Coconut Head does yeah. decide to ultimately take Choir, which is really just becomes like a solo opera lesson for him, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it does. He's wearing a dope tux and everything. 
Um, no one else is on the stage except for him. And like a piano a is on the pi- on the stage or something, right? Isn't yeah, but something else on the stage? he was just singing a cappella, wasn't he? He was, he was. There was nothing behind it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we find out that the extreme part of what uh, of life science extreme because they ask him, everybody raises their hand and be like, "What's extreme?" Yeah. Um, and he, they go outside and he lets them shoot off all their babies on rockets. <laughs> yes. Um, and that he's is... like, we're only doing this once. Yeah, he he says he's only gonna do it once. I was saying when we were watching it that he should have went back and and reevaluated their previous grades since that's the reason they gotta be. But yeah, you know, I don't hypocrite. know if that's gonna happen. It is a fucking hypocrite. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I think that I'm gonna give it the same score I gave part one. I think I'm also gonna give uh-huh. this an eight. I liked yeah. it pretty much the same. I thought it was inventive. I liked it. It was it was solid. Yeah, I'm gonna go eight point two five. Very. I, I, nice. I, I like the first little part. I think I laughed more during that first half. Just a little bit more, yeah. Yeah. I feel you. I I could see that. I thought about giving this one like a like a like a seven point seven five, but I was like, ah, I'll just give them both clean eights. That's um, fair. Uh, but yeah, they were both very good. Um, you guys should def check out season two. Um, on uh, Amazon Prime if you have it. You do have to pay for the season. I would recommend yeah. it still. It's only like thirteen bucks for twenty episodes. Thirteen bucks. Not not too bad if you can swing it. Um, Dude, if you if you want to buy yeah, a season guys... of Pawn Stars, it's fucking twenty five dollars or some shit. It's crazy. Fuck that. <laughs> um, this way you guys could watch uh, along with us if you haven't seen it in a long time because there's not anywhere else you can find it right now. Hopefully, at some point it goes on Hulu. I know a lot of the other Nickelodeon mm. stuff is on Hulu. But Nickelodeon seems pretty random because they did just put Avatar on Netflix. So it's interesting how because Drake and Josh is on Hulu. Drake and Josh is on Hulu, and so is a bunch of other stuff like Jimmy Neutron. Oh um, shit! And and some other uh, Nickelodeon stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, I don't know. It's just random. <laughs> it's so random. Mm-hmm. They for some reason the the owner company is it Viacom that owns all the all the Nickelodeon stuff. Who the fuck owns <sighs> Nickelodeon? I believe it's Viacom or maybe Universal, but maybe they're the same thing. Maybe Universal owns Viacom. I don't. I don't fucking know. I it's all so. Yeah. It's well, also one of those companies should have just picked a platform. For sure, just pick a platform. Put it on something. Yeah. Um, what are you gonna do? But that's the way you can watch it right now if you want to with us. Um, but yeah, you got any any final notes or anything? No, I think that was a clean. Um, little episode there. Good start to the season two. Very good start to season two. Um, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the season. Hopefully, we can get some some guests on. That'd be that'd be solid. Yeah. Um, hopefully, eventually. I know we haven't mentioned this in a long time. You guys, uh, keep uh, if you haven't already, message uh the the <laughs> cast members of Ned's Declassified. Hit up Devin. <laughs> work harder on Hit the up pod. Lindsay Shaw. Hit up um. Daniel Curtis Lee, all on. Hit I don't up think. DJ I don't Pinky. think. I don't think we've made that call since like ep like three or four of the pod. <laughs> Hit them up on Instagram. Instagram seems to be the most active pra- platform in which they are operate. Yeah, that'd be sick. Um, but yeah, that that's been the pod. Uh, enjoyed the episode, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. And uh, go watch some Ned's Declassified. Mm-hmm.